So with zero calories and zero carbs, I would assume that this soda is safe to drink if you're on a ketogenic or a low carb diet. Some people say that that's not the case, so I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna use these keto sticks to verify that I'm in ketosis. And using these sticks are not the most reliable way to know that you're in ketosis. So take this sprinkle of pee with a grain of salt. I recently started eating ketogenic and got into ketosis and that's when these urine sticks actually work the best because now my body is not really adapted to the keto, it's really not effective so a lot of it is excessive and gets excreted with the urine. As opposed to when you've been on keto for a long while, your body gets more adapted to being in keto, it uses more of the ketones and that's leaving less of the excess in the toilets. So first I'm gonna verify that I'm actually in ketosis to begin with. I'll do it alone, thank you. Okay, so this indicates that there are small to moderate amounts of ketones in my blood. I would expect to get a response relatively quick, so I'm gonna do a new test in 15 minutes and then I'll continue doing a couple more tests with around 15, 30 minutes in between them. Still the same result. This can indicate that you can drink diet soda on a low carb or a keto diet or even when you're fasting like I'm doing right now. But keep in mind that this is a personal experiment done by a non-professional that apparently likes peeing on things and putting them online. So please make your own judgment and find sources elsewhere as well. If you found this interesting then you might also find this interesting.